there must be an open display of the power of God within your land. An open display of the miracle working power of God. Miracle signs and wonders. Do not tell people to come to a God whose power they cannot see. That's right, that's right. By the time the newspapers in South Africa are full of the wonder working power of God, that the headline on the newspaper is that a popular madman who is known everywhere in South Africa has now become a pastor. That is too notable to ignore. By the time five dead people medically confirmed come back to life. By the time someone who is obviously oppressed or whose family is down, maybe in parliament, one of the kings within the territory receives the power of God. Their endorsements will preserve the purposes of God. Can I tell you this? If people do not see the power of God, they will soon forget about God. The power of God reminds people that he's alive. Please hear what I'm telling you. This is very important. I'm just listing them. I apologize. We may not talk so much about scriptures. Miracles create convictions in the hearts of those who witness it and those who benefit from it. It lets people know that he's still seated on the throne. We live in a world right now where there are many alternatives. There are about 4,000 registered religions. Are you aware of that? And counting. So when you say God, people say, what are you talking about? God means anyone and anything I respect. Ah, but he says this is eternal life. John chapter 17 and verse 3. That they may know you, the one true God. And Jesus, your son. John 4 and verse 48. Except they see signs and wonders, he says, they will not believe. Right. John 4, 48. Except they see. They want to see the power of God to save. They want to see the power of God to heal, to deliver. They want to see the power of God to bless. The power of God to transform. Remember what happened to the jailer? Remember that story? Yes, sir. Is that true? Paul and Silas? That's right. The Bible says at midnight, they began to pray and to sing and everybody in the prison heard them. Suddenly, His majesty just came, not an angel. He came himself. There was such an earthquake the chains broke and the Bible says all doors open. How many doors? When he comes, there is not one door that remains. All apakatos kete bakata. They prayed and they sang in prison, bound with chains. And when his majesty stepped in with an earthquake, all doors opened. And the jailer thought that they had run. And he took a sword wanting to kill himself. And Peter said, find your peace. And Paul, find peace. We are here. We are safe. There's no need to rush. God who did it can do it again. We are going to go out honorably. And the man said, no, I've not seen it this way. What do I need to do? And he says, now you are talking. Can I tell you this? South Africa... Your territory needs to see a consistent display. Not once a year. A consistent display. Not just a display of power in church alone. They need to see the power of God. By the time a man of God declares that there will be a bumper harvest. And strangely, the agricultural sector in South Africa receives a boost. That is inexplainable by the agriculturists, the economies, this, we've not seen it in this fashion. Then they know there is a God in heaven. An open display of the supernatural power of God. Don't tell people to stop going to herbalists and native doctors if you cannot give them a superior alternative. 
can I be honest with you? People will continue to run to the devil until the day we present an alternative that is consistent, superior, and result producing. The desperation of human needs will not allow them to forbear with nonsense. Once they go through pain beyond the threshold, they will source for alternatives and unashamedly bow to those alternatives. To see you high and lifted up, you are shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. We sing holy, holy, holy. We'll see you high and lifted up over South Africa, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy. One more time, South Africa. We'll see him high and lifted up. He is shining in the light of his glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. This is why men and women of God must trust God for superior levels of end time anointings. The mantles that men like Smith Wigglesworth prophesied upon before they died. They said even what we have done, there is coming a generation that will do more. The general said it before they died. But I know that after this conference, because this conference is a trigger. Suddenly you will begin to hear of men and women across South Africa, men of character and men of fire. You will begin to hear about the manifestations of the power of God in church services that will dumbfound principalities and powers. You will hear that fire wanted to consume a house but nothing was burnt. When they say we don't believe this, refer them to the burning bush. That it is possible for a bush to be burned yet not consumed. That a day will come when wild worship is going on in church. Someone who has been missing for 10 years, 15 years. The power of God will leave that altar and the fire like a tornado will go and fish that person back. Days will come when a church is empty, no conference, and you will see sinners running to the gate and they will hold on to the gate and say, create a fresh service for us. We are coming to Jesus. Times will come where business people will finish their meeting and while they are in their meeting about to round up, the power of the Holy Ghost will fall upon that meeting and you're watching senior executives under the anointing praying in the spirit. I don't know the name of what is happening to me but I know that it's a new season. You will see people in marketplaces receiving an outpouring. Students sitting in an exam hall and when they are done writing their exams, fire falls upon them. Someone shout, send the fire. Someone shout, send the fire. Shout, send the fire. Please sit down. We're almost there. Preserving the move of God. Can I tell you this? Have you noticed that from scripture, every time there was a display of the power of God, it was captured and preserved in a name. And they will be told, when your children ask you, what does this mean? Tell them, once upon a time, how do you think they got Shama and Rafa and Sikenu? There were all dimensions of his power that were captured in his name. Can I tell you this? 
the assignment of every generation is that you should not leave to your grave until you give the coming generation a new name that your experience has captured about God. South Africa, the generations coming, all of you who are from 50 and above, what name have you captured in your lifetime that will be given the children? Capture the names in songs that don't die. Capture the names in books that don't die. Capture the name in sermons that don't die. The God of Abraham is also God, but he does not walk the same as the God of Isaac. There is a dimension of the God of Abraham that is not seen in the God of Isaac. And when Jacob came, he said, I need to give God a name too. He wrestled with him and said, I will not let you go. Leave me for the day break it. He said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. He said, what is your name? Jacob, thou shall no longer be called Jacob. For as a prince, you have had power with God and you have prevailed. He touched the whole of his thigh and he blessed him. The Bible says the sun arose and he called the name of the place Peniel. I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved. By the time we get to Psalm 24, he says, this is the generation of them that seek thee, O God of Jacob. That a day will come, you will see the faithfulness of God. And one day you will teach your children and say, every time you are in trouble and it looks like the battles are raging. There was a song I sang in 1981 before you came. That is a song of victory that is like a code in this family. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Do you know that was a song that was a code of victory? Every time the nation of Israel were surrounded by their enemies and defeat was imminent, they raised that song. You are good and your mercy endures. And God is saying, who is calling my dimension as a warrior? Clear the way for me. Please let's hurry 